To get an imagination of unknown objects for congenitally blind persons, it is very necessary to use the sense of touch. Because of the small dimensions, this is not a problem with objects like a dog or something else. If the objects are bigger than the touching area of a person, one cannot gather it connectedly. Whole buildings, or parts of a building, for example a staircase, are difficult to explore. One can move on stairs anyway, but a big building like a church cannot be explored without a model. To teach a blind child some basic objects, you can use common toys, for example a dollhouse, a model railroad or a model of a plane. But to build a model of a special environment is labor intensive and for that very expensive. So there were different technical ideas in history to simplify this process, like the CNC technique. A very new method is called 3D printing and shown to us on the Karlsruhe Institute for Technology. The first step is to concept the model with the computer. The students of architecture have to learn to work with a special software for constructing 3D models. In this process they have to decide which parts of the model should be printed with model material or with bearing material which will be removed later. In our example a small model of the Barcelona pavilion should be printed out. The designed model has to be placed virtually in the printer. With this method it is possible to print out several models in one printing process. Mr. Kinsvater from Karlsruhe Institute of Technology demonstrates a skyscraper model. It is built with a special synthetic material. After the organic bearing material is washed out by a base, the model is finished. It is possible to design the tactile surface of a model in different structure. This is an important point regarding to the touching by blind persons. For that the bearing material is washed out later, it is also possible to construct movable models in one operating sequence. For an example, here we can see a ball which is able to move inside a bigger ball. If the virtual model is designed and has passed a detailed check, it will be sent to the 3D printer. Here Mr. Kinsvater shows the printing material, which is made by a plastic wire. But there were experiments with other materials too, like sugar or chocolate cream. The operation of 3D printing is already used in industrial production, for example, car construction. American freaks have printed out the plastic parts of a 3D printer, so that the printer is nearly able to produce itself. The printer has to be heated to the needed temperature to fluidize the plastic wire, so that it can be sprayed through the plast pipe. Today it is still expensive to build up models with this 3D printer. The price of the machine is between 1000 to 100,000 euro and the costs of the material is about 50 cents per cubic centimeter. The blast pipes for model material and bearing material are moved to the marked places and by this the model is built up layer by layer. Thank you.
साथ में Here we see the model after the printing process. The black parts are bearing material, which will be removed next. There are also new technical methods to create blueprints of objects, so that you don't have to measure them by yourself. For centuries, geometrical measurement has been part of human life and has, to a certain extent, made our current technology possible. In the beginning, measuring units derived from nature, whereby unified sizes and precision could not be highly spoken of. The tendency for accuracy has constantly brought new measuring methods. Continuous economical progress has made the employment of geometrical measurements become indispensable. In the industrial age, measurements of all kinds became necessary in everyday life. One of the most important keys to measuring is the ability to capture our three-dimensional environment. Faro faces this challenge with uncomplicated and at the same time highly precise measuring instruments. The Faro laser scanner is the next step in the three-dimensional measuring technology. The measuring procedure begins in the laser unit. The rotating mirror directs the laser beam into the area of measurement. The distance is uniquely or distinctly determined via the phase shift of the reflected laser beam opposite the transmission beam. With the help of the angle of the rotating mirror and the angle of the laser scanner itself, the PC module calculates an accurate space coordinate and stores this 3D measuring point. This procedure repeats itself several hundred thousand times per second. This procedure creates a detailed three-dimensional image of the environment. The resolution is up to a thousand times higher than with a commercial megapixel camera. The Faro laser scanner applications are very versatile. During factory planning, for example for complex piping networks, a 3D-based scan is very appropriate. Further applications include quality assurance, production control, design or architecture. In the construction of tunnels, each procedure needs to be measured. Any deviations to the structural drawings are recognized and stored in the 3D documentation. Distances or sizes in the point cloud can be read off easily with the Faro software. Contrary to conventional measuring procedures, an unbeatable plus point of the Faro laser scanner is the small time it takes to capture the data. Also, in heritage preservation or accident investigation, digitalizations with a laser scanner have been proven beneficial. So-called reference targets make it possible to connect several scans and view restrictions are eliminated. Color scans are also possible in combination with a digital camera. The modular structure of the Faro laser scanner is an advantage for such a wide range of different applications. The Faro laser scanner may be optimized for each application. The individual software packages complement the system. The Faro laser scanner is a versatile and user-friendly precision measuring instrument of the highest level. Geometrical measurement in a new dimension.